Lesson number three, circle. First theorem is known as an uh, tangent theorem. Statement, a tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. First, we'll understand what is a tangent. A tangent to a circle is defined as a straight line which touches the circle at a single point. So this is a circle with center O. This is a line L which touch which is touching the circle at a single point at a one point. We'll say A. Okay. So a line which is touching a circle in a single point it is called a tangent. So this line L is a tangent and uh, this point A is known as a point of contact. Now, uh, in this theorem, it, we have to prove that uh, tangent is given at any point of a circle. It, we have to prove that it is perpendicular to the radius at that point. So, we have to prove that this tangent and radius are perpendicular to each other. And uh, it is given that a circle with center O, L is the tangent at point A. And uh, we have to prove that OA is perpendicular to line L. So this is the given and this we have to prove. And this is the diagram. Now uh, we have to prove this theorem by indirect method. Indirect method. That means we will assume that line L is not perpendicular to OA. And whatever assumption we have taken, uh, that we have to prove that the assumption is wrong. So, it will show that line L is perpendicular to AOA. Indirect, again I am explaining. Indirect method means uh, we have to prove that line L is perpendicular to OA. But in the indirect method, we will prove that uh, line L is not perpendicular to OA. This assumption we have to take. We'll suppose that and in the proof we have to prove that whatever the assumption we have considered is wrong so it will show that the line l is perpendicular to seg oa okay assume that line l is not perpendicular to seg oa so we'll draw a diagram this is a line l we are not drawing a circle just we are showing this oa and line l so we have uh, considered as A is not perpendicular to L. Okay, line L is not perpendicular to OA. So if you consider this O and this is A, that means OA is not perpendicular to line L. So we'll take another segment which is perpendicular. This segment is perpendicular to line A. So we'll consider this as B. So we have taken OB perpendicular to line L. And now we'll do one construction. Whatever is this distance AB with the same distance on this side, we'll take another point C and we'll join this point. So we have got two triangles over here and now we'll prove that these two triangles are congruent. So I've written this. Suppose OB is drawn perpendicular to line L. Of course B is not as same. Now take the point C on the line L such that A, B, C and this B, A is equal to B, C. Now we will uh, consider these two triangles and we have to prove that these two triangles are congruent. So first uh, B, C. From this triangle O, B, C. B, C is congruent to B, A of triangle O, A, B. So we will write sec B, C is congruent to sec B, A. And the reason is construction. So we do this. So construction. Then this angle OBC and OBA. Both are 90 degree. So angle OBC congruent to angle OBA. Reason each right angle. And third side is OA of triangle OBC, sorry, OB of triangle OBC and OB of triangle 
OBA common side so seg OB congruent to seg OB which is common side therefore triangle OBC congruent to triangle OBA this is side angle side SAS test S A S test. Now, as we have proved these two triangles are congruent, that means O A is also congruent to O C. These are the corresponding sides of congruent triangle. Therefore, seg O C of this triangle is congruent to seg O A. Reason is corresponding sides of congruent triangle therefore OC is equal to OA but seg OA this seg OA is ready is radius we have taken this seg OA as radius as OA is radius then OC is also radius therefore seg OC must also be a radius since uh, O is the center and the points A and C lie on the circle it means that the L intersects the line in two distinct points A and C see this is O is the center and A OA and OC are the radius that means uh, suppose uh, it, it means that a, a circle with center O and A and C will be like this because both OA and OC we have proved the radius but if we we'll pass the tangent through it the tangent cannot pass through the two distinct point so whatever assumption we have considered it is wrong so we will write uh, OC must also be a radius since point point O is the center therefore points A and C lie on the circle that means that line L intersects the circle in two distinct point A and C that means line L intersects the circle in two distinct points A and C uh, like this but uh, it is given that the line L is a tangent and tangent intersects the circle in only one point the tangent cannot touch the circle in two, two points so it intersects the circle in only one point so now we will write our assumption that L is not perpendicular to radius. What we had assumed L is not perpendicular to seg OA. So this assumption is wrong. So our assumption is wrong. Therefore line L is perpendicular to radius. This is the proof.